Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashley Rosales. You may know me as MUA Ashley on Instagram. I do a lot of lip tutorials and lip videos on there. And here on my YouTube channel, I like to do my full face tutorials, first impressions, and anything beauty related. Today I'm doing a first impressions on the new Fenty Beauty line and I created this look using the products that I bought at Sephora. I hope you guys like the tutorial. If you want to see how I got this super golden glowy look, then let's get right into it. The first product I'm going to use is the Soft Matte Primer. The packaging is so beautiful. I think it's super feminine and it's not too much. It's just perfect. I absolutely love it. Um, and unlike any other matte primers that I've tried before, since my skin is dry, I do end up like getting dry patches or like my skin feels really, really chalky and it just, I don't really like it. So this matte primer is a game changer in my opinion because for me who has dry skin, it doesn't leave my skin dry and cakey and chalky. So this, I don't know what she put in this, but it is very, very, very good. So. I like it because I do have large pores, you know, in my cheeks and in my T-zone. So this definitely fills it in without leaving my skin super dry. So to apply the primer, I'm going to take the full body foundation brush. This brush. This brush though. This brush is so soft. In the store, I was like, oh my god, you guys, it's so, so soft. And it is very good at blending. It's just all around a great brush. So I highly recommend this brush with the primer and the foundation. It's not a must have. You can obviously use any brush that you choose, but I think this goes very well with, you know, the products in this line. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of the primer here on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a close up so you can sort of see how it looks. It's not, it doesn't feel like a traditional matte primer. It is more of like, it's almost like a lotion-y feel, which I really like. It feels super hydrating, but it mattes you out at the same time. I probably put way too much, but I got a little excited. crazy that it sort of gives you a glow, but at the same time it's matte. Like, it's just, it's so good. I'm just gonna press it into my skin just to make sure it's in there, filling in those crazy large pores that I have. So I always tend to correct with an orange or peach corrector under my eyes or on my mouth, anywhere around my face that I'm like naturally dark, but I'm not going to do that today because I really want to test out the matchstick in the shade French Vanilla, so I'm going to skip out on correcting today. I really want to see how the coverage on the matchstick is. So, like always before foundation, I would do that normally, but I'm just going to jump right into foundation. So the shade that I'm using for the Pro Filter Foundation is the 240. Um, they have 40 different shades. She has 40 shades. So amazing. I am so blown away and so impressed by how she definitely wanted everyone to feel included and I feel like everyone definitely does feel included because there are 40 shades, you guys. So, very excited about that. So like I said, my shade is 240, which is like a warmer tan, but not too dark. Um, this foundation. So, so good. I don't know, I was just worried that I would look too oily or too dry. That's my thing with foundations, is I am dry, so if I get like a very dewy foundation, then I look super oily, so I don't know. I was just, I was iffy about this, just because it's a new foundation and it's a new line, but you guys. I'm gonna squirt some of this on the back of my this, hand. This, just trying it in Sephora that one time, this is my new favorite foundation. That is foundation. what it looks like. Yeah, I'm just going to dot it on my face. And then there's the ooh. 
So this foundation is, I think, a matte, but also at the same time, a little bit of dewiness. Um, I feel like it doesn't dry you out. Who has tried the new line? Who has tried Fenty Beauty? And what are your thoughts? Let me know down below in the comments. I love hearing your thoughts. And let me know what shade you guys are in the foundation. Because I always love to know. I really like the coverage right now, but what I'm going to do is add a little bit more in the areas where I think I need just a little bit more coverage. But honestly, <laughs> I think I pumped out too much. I pumped out like three pumps. You probably could get away with one, honestly. I'm pretty sure I pumped out too much because I just got excited, but I think you could get away with one pump. All right, so I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more right here. A little bit. A little bit, a little bit more to my forehead. And it smells like, it does have a scent, like a, a fragrant scent. It smells very feminine. Um, scents don't bother me, but if you don't like, you know, your foundation to have scents, you might not like this. Next step is to conceal and just a little bit of cream contouring. So I'm gonna be using the matchsticks in the shades French Vanilla and Mocha. And these are really cool. First of all, because they're magnetic. So they stick together. <laughs> I usually tend to shy away from cream contour and cream highlight because it's very drying. It dries out under my eyes super quick and it just looks horrible, especially with how dark my under eyes are. So I don't know. I was really, really like, hmm. Okay, I'll give them a try, but I don't know if I'm gonna like them. I'm gonna show you guys um, the French Vanilla, which is what I will use to highlight. I'm just gonna swatch it on my hand so you guys can see a little bit of a close-up. It's a neutral undertone. I don't think it's too cool or too warm. I think it's perfect for a lot of skin tones, which is impressive as well, which is great for so many people. And then I got the Mocha Cream Contour Stick, which is very warm. For my skin tone, which is very olive, this is going to be a great contour shade. One thing that I did notice about these sticks is that it's very hard to pick up with a brush. Um, I'm pretty sure they're not meant to pick up with a brush. You pretty much just want to apply these directly to your face. Now, I want to show you guys the amount of product that you get in these. There are 0.25 ounces in each match stick, which I want to show you. From what I was told at Sephora, you don't need to set these um, with powder at all. I tend to crease no matter what under my eyes and around my smile line, so I will be setting there. I feel like I have to, but I'm going to because normally I would anyway, regardless of the product says you do have to or you don't. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the French Vanilla and I'm going to highlight under my eyeballs. I feel like that's probably plenty. I feel like you don't need too much with this product. I'm gonna highlight down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, around my smile lines, above my lip, and right here on my chin, and a tiny bit under where I will be contouring, like that. And for the contour, like I said, I'm using the shade Mocha. I'm going to be just contouring normally. Go ahead. Tiny bit on my nose. I don't cream contour on my nose normally, but I really want to see how this blends out. Under my bottom lip, underneath my jawline. I'll add a tiny bit more. Awesome. So I want to show you guys what it looks like before I blend it out. And I'm going to take the 110 foundation brush and blend this out. It's absolutely amazing. It's not kicky in the slightest and it's like a, it has sort of like a balm feel to it so I feel like it blends out super nice. I 
and I'm just going to take the excess and kind of prime my lids with it. Just look at that. I mean, there's no cakiness. It's not drying. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful product. Now, I am going to add a tiny bit more to my under eyes just because I feel like they're still a little too dark because my under eyes are horrible. I'm just going to add some more. Now, what's great about this product is because it's not drying under my eyes, so I feel like I can just add more and it's not going to cake up because it has a, a really great texture to it. I feel like... It's just perfect, like, I, I'm so impressed by this brand. I just love Rihanna so much. That should be good. I think that's, I think that's good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the contour shade, which blends out very nicely as well. I'm gonna leave my nose and use a smaller brush for that, just so it doesn't get crazy. <laughs> Definitely want to take my time underneath so I don't have any crazy lines under here. I'm going to take this iconic London brush, which is a small, like, dome shaped brush, and blend out the contour on my nose. All right, like I said, I'm going to set my under eyes just because I know they'll crease if I don't. So I'm going to use my favorite, which is the Tarte Filtered Light Setting Powder. And I'm just going to very lightly set under there, not really bake, just set. I'm just going to take my beauty blender and I don't think I'm creasing, but just in case, get out any creases I might have. Just take a tiny bit of this and set under my eye. Very lightly. around my smile lines where I tend to crease a lot. <laughs> I'm going to dust away any of that excess powder with this Time Los Angeles brush. I don't have much, but I don't want it to just sit there if there is any extra. I don't want to see up close how my skin looks. Wow, it looks so good. It looks matte, but it looks hydrated. Like, it looks matte, but it doesn't look like it's super dry. Oh, it's so good. So I picked up some more matchsticks in the shades Starstruck, Yacht Life, and Blonde. Those are it right there. Starstruck and Blonde are more of like highlighter shades for like, you know, your cheeks, your nose, any wear like that. And Yacht Life, this pink one in the middle, is more for like a blush, so. Okay, I'm gonna get all three and see how they go. I think for today I'm just gonna go all in and I'm gonna use blind because I actually have Trivi Wife, the amazing gold, like yellow gold highlighter, and I want to use that on my cheeks and on my eyes. So I was like, you know what, let's just do it. I'm gonna use, like I said, blind right now. Give you guys a little swatch in the back of my hand. So beautiful. There it is right there. Look at that. 
I feel like this is so good for so many skin tones. Let's get into highlighting. Okay, so I'm going to start on my cheeks. I'm going to use my finger to blend this in. I feel like when you use your finger with sun cream products, especially cream highlighter, it kind of melts into your skin better that way. That's why I'm blending it in with my finger. And what's great about these matchsticks is that you can apply them over powder, which to me, I was like, okay, game changer right there. Because sometimes I want to bake under my eyes right away after I conceal it. And then I'm like, oh crap, I forgot my cream highlighter. Well, guess what? Now you don't have to worry about that. You know, you can just put it right over powder and it blends right out like a dream. So I'm going to add a little bit more because you guys already know I like to glow to the heavens. I feel like there's no such thing as too much highlight. I feel like my eyes are pretty much already primed with the foundation that I use, so I'm going to just get out the creases with the foundation brush. I'm going to go right in with blonde again and put this right on the inner corners and the pretty much the lid, the inner corner to the center of my lids. I'm going to take this Morphe Dome brush and just blend this out. just out of this world beautiful I mean I I've never seen a highlighter like this I maybe I just haven't been looking but honestly trophy wife you guys can see this this is insane like I don't even want to touch it right now to swatch it but I'm going to compare with you guys this it's just one swipe that's it I did not dip into that twice that is just one swipe right there oh my god I mean hello I know at the Sephora here in El Paso, it sold out pretty quick. So I was very happy that I got my hands on it because this was like the thing that I really wanted the most. And I also picked up another one. This is the duo. This one is Mean Money and Hustla Baby. And I'll swatch this for you guys too. Here is Hustla Baby, which is just a stunning peachy, very light peach iridescent and then this one is mean money and this is more of a subtle highlighter but yeah i'm gonna have to dip into that a couple times it's definitely more of a natural glow right right there first thing i'm going to do with trophy wipe is apply it to my lids got this creasing there's a little bit of creasing i'm going to take this anastasia a4 brush just a flat brush and i'm going to apply trophy wipe to my lids and use this little mirror that comes in the My go-to shade for fall. Yeah, that is gorge. Oh! <laughs> Riri, girl. I'm gonna take a Morphe M506 as a tiny little dome-shaped brush just to blend out any harsh lines that I have. And dip a little bit into trophy wood. Taking this MAC 239 brush, I'm going to go underneath and blend these eyes. Okay, the eye look is done. Just got to apply some mascara and some falsies. I just realized that I forgot to pick up the highlighting brush. So I'm going to use the Anastasia A23 brush, which is actually my favorite highlighter brush. And I'm going to highlight my cheekbones with this. Pretty dang cool. 
So I'm gonna use the Motives Crease Brush. It's a little pencil brush right here. It's Anastasia A2 little flat brush to go down the bridge of my nose just because I feel like if I do use a bigger brush my nose tends to look crooked so I like to be super precise. First I decided okay I'm gonna use the blush for this look now I'm like mm, I don't think I need to but I'm going to just to show you guys what it looks like. This is Yacht Life. Whoa! But I'm gonna take it on my fingers. I'm gonna choose the tiniest bit for the flusher color. Alright! I'm gonna apply some mascara, some falsies, some lip color, and I'll be right back. All right, so this is the finished look, you guys. I am so impressed and... So my thoughts on Fenty Beauty is that it is absolutely amazing. She hit it out of the park. I mean, I am so impressed. Um, from the shades, the 40 shades, like the range of foundation that she has, incredible. For me having dry skin and wearing a matte primer and a matte foundation and not feeling dry, like, and not having dry patches, so impressed. From having dark, dark circles under my eyes, hereditary. I have some of the darker circles I've ever seen. And to use the French Vanilla Matchstick in force to just cover it like it's nothing, I'm just like game changer. The cream contour is amazing too. You guys already know I tend to shy away from cream contour just because I feel like it gets dirty or muddy on my face very easily. All I have on right now is the cream contour. I did not even set it and it looks fantastic. I highly recommend <laughs> Fenty Beauty to anyone. Um, whether your skin is very light, very dark, medium, whatever skin tone you have, you will find a shade of foundation that matches you, I promise. There's every shade for every color, for every woman, and I applaud Rihanna for really going out of her way and making sure that no woman was left out in every skin tone, every shade, every woman was included. Nothing really bad to say, except for the only thing I would say is that I would like to see more shades in the Gloss Bomb, which I'm pretty sure we'll be seeing that soon. Um, I'm so mad I forgot to put that in my basket. Like, seriously, Ashley, I'm obsessed with lipsticks, and the one thing I forget is the Gloss Bomb, but that's okay. I do really like that as well from trying it in Sephora. It was very good. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out. Leave your comments and thoughts on the Fenty Beauty line down below because I love to hear your thoughts and your opinions. I love you guys so, so much, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. And until next time, 